what in the world is happening to Black Desert Online? We will end one-sided guild wars. In the future, guild wars will only take place under the agreement of both guilds. I found this ID in this wallet. And if that's the case, this must be your wallet. That makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. Isn't what open world PvP what makes the game? Why would they take it away? It's actually not. Huh? <sighs> if, if you don't stop stream sniping me, I'm gonna report you. And if they don't ban you, I'm gonna quit. Aren't y'all glad they turned off the guild decks? Well, golly gee willikers. Now we can say that Shaky Bay declines guild decks, even though we're the ones declining. Don't worry, guys. He apologized to the players. Everything's okay. He's gonna stop being uh, stubborn. He's gonna start listening. Oh, by the way, guys. New costume and new class coming out. Everything's fixed. Dealing with Mr. J, okay? It's like dealing with a narcissist who says to his girlfriend. I'm, I'm sorry, baby, I'm gonna change, I swear. And then you end up believing it. Welcome to another Black Desert Online video, the critically acclaimed MMO RPG, guys. Uh, by the way, guys, the desert isn't black in this game, I know. The game certainly isn't online anymore with the Marnie Realms being 50% of your gameplay, PvP getting removed with the GVG deck changes, you know, people getting banned now for doing sandbox content. I'm talking to you, red players. Yeah, you guys, you know, the ones that are simply getting banned for playing the game. Yeah, I'm talking about you, red players. Yeah, I bet y'all are having a good time right now. Yeah, so you know, I was actually supposed to make this video a long time ago, as you guys know. But then I just had this doubt in my mind. Like, should I post it? Does it matter? Will Mr. J listen? Because let's be real, right? Now look, I'm a Florida man, as some of you may know. The chances of Mr. J just listening to our feedback. It's, it's, it's about the chances of it snowing tomorrow in Florida. But we cope and we hope. For those of you who may not play BDO or just not been playing, let me just give you a quick rundown of what's been happening to the game, okay? So we have... The GVG deck system. You now need permission to declare war. They have unified the karma system, essentially nerfing red player playstyles even more. Top that off, we had an incident with the streamer, which I'll be getting into later on, which resulted in uh, people getting banned for stream sniping, which has never happened before in this community, which is going to be, I think, a topic we need to address. That incident actually led to random people in the game who are just simply red PvPing to get banned. Like, people were getting banned simply for going red. The situation has gotten so bad that people in the community, when they get PK'd out of their spot, they just say, I'm going to report you. And for a lot of people who PvP, this is destroying the idea of a sandbox. As a whole, though, uh, we have Marnie Realm that also got added simultaneously with the GVG changes, which um, essentially took a lot of people out of the open world and now we're putting people in 12 hours of instance a day. Now, we will talk about Marnie Realms later. PvP as a whole, though, it's just getting nuked. Not only do they ruin the GVGs, right? Not only are people randomly getting banned now for going red. The duration of Node Wars is also going to be much less, it seems like, in the future. Now, we also have the problem of capped content, right? So, with the other issues in the game where, like, G they're removing PvP, right? All we really have left in the meantime is to go grind. Well, everything is capped. Like, the main the main entree of the game, right? The seven course meal of Black Desert Online is capped. So now a lot of players are left scratching their head. Why should I grind? What's the point? PvP is capped. PvE is capped. What am I doing here? Totally valid, too. And uh, finally, the last issue, which, I mean, there's actually a lot, but the one I want to talk about is uh, the Black Shrine, which is the new bossing that they've finally added to BDO. It took them 10 years. But then what killed the fun was that the hardest content in the game, which was Calamity 6 and 7, uh, just didn't give any rewards. As me, as a player that was playing Black Shrine, um, I was like, okay, finally, we kind of got some semi-competitive content, right? Well, 
a lot of the complaints is that it looks like if you place higher or lower on the rankings, it doesn't really affect your drop rate too much. It just feels like fluff. After all of the mess that Mr. J has created, you know, the BDO developer team has created with these changes, right? Like everyone was giving their feedback. The last thing finally was the Calfion ball. The Calfion ball, they were advertising, spending mega money advertising this, right? I mean, I saw Google ads everywhere, like everywhere for the for the Calfion ball. For a lot of us that play the game, we were really hoping that they would kind of touch base on some of the tomfoolery, I would say, they added to BDO. And what happened? The same old, same old Calfion ball that we normally expected. Random codes, random hammers, and a whole lot of nothing. That's really what it was. What it, really what it boiled down to, man. Oh, and what I mean by a whole lot of nothing. Come on. Go, 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 go! What? This is it. Surely this, surely this is it. That'd be close for nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. This is come the last one, right? One. Maybe the one. Boom. That's horrible. Here comes number one. Oh, that's the order. Here comes number two. Here comes number three. It's not that time, bro. Come on, Stones. Let's get more. You got two tries. <laughs> this game is so fucking dumb, bro. This is my home place game, bro. Straight up. Please come back so you can fail five times. Here I am making this video. Talk about what should happen. And I'm not the only one, you know, talking about this. I've seen many other creators talking against this. But there's also a lot of silence from other creators that don't want to say anything. And I literally don't blame them because we all know <laughs> they're not going to listen. But, you know, hey, man, I want to get the discussion going. It needs to happen. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, look, PA is just kind of fucking up right now. So it's... Needs to, there's a lot that needs to be addressed. Now, for the slim chance, slim chance PA is listening. And guys, if you guys are this far in the video, comment, leave feedback, like the video, share this with your friends. Like, get people talking about this. Like, seriously. Because this is pretty bad for the game, but the way it's heading. Like, we need to, like, give our feedback and they need to listen. Also, like, PA needs to stop being stubborn. I just want to get this out of the way really quick, okay? And... There's a lot of hearsay, they say, we say, they say. They listen to KR more. They don't listen to NA. What Koreans say, well, our server's a test server. They don't listen to us either. And then it goes to the live servers. A lot of here. Listen, at the end of the day, okay? PA, you need to buy into the NA EU Western philosophy of the game. Listen to your Western player base. It's your best chance because... They are your biggest... We've seen the numbers on the financial reports, okay? It's very obvious that PA is panicking, right? They're panicking, and they don't know what to do. Like, they're, just, they're losing money like crazy right now, okay? Throughout all the years, NAEU are the people that are supporting their game the most, okay? And they also have some of the bigger content creators that are also helping support their game. Really start listening to your Western feedback. I know that the other servers and regions, they have their own wishes, but I think... Actually, I don't think. I know that if you guys just buy into what the Westerners say, your game is going to see success worldwide. It'll take some time, right? But look, it's never too late to fix the game. It's never too late. I mean, look, we had a massive flood of players that randomly happened this year even. They're all gone now for the most part. But hey, look, let's look on the bright side, okay? You have the best combat on the market for, for, for an MMORPG, okay? All that needs to happen now is that you guys just start fixing what the players are actually complaining about. And I'm gonna get to that next, okay? And what I believe is the single most biggest crutch holding back Black Desert, okay? And trust me, it's gonna be what a lot of people have been begging for this game to have that you guys just aren't delivering on. Okay? My next point is this. Stop half-assing, and I'm being just bl blunt here. Stop half-assing your content. What do I mean by that? Listen, it's very obvious you guys half-ass your content. I'll give you an example, right? We've asked for dungeons for years, okay? We love the dungeons in the game that are in there. They're actually pretty fun, okay? Problem is, no rewards. You threw us with, like, the dungeons we have now? There you go. Never been touched again. Have fun with your one hour, actually less than an hour of dungeons a week. And... 
We're never going to update them or touch them. We're just going to leave them as is. Oh, and we're just going to leave you with four dungeons in ten years. Like, don't just dip your toes into the water and then when it fails, uh, you just let it go. No, like... Dungeons are very much a core part of MMORPGs and just because you guys didn't see a massive success in it doesn't mean to not add dungeons in the game. It means that you need to keep adding more dungeons to the game and refine the rewards. That's what needs to really happen. Cause that's really the main issue, right? People can't really, you know, do enough dungeons a week or a day right now. And it just feels like it's just there and no one really does it. So stop half-assing your content. Your second example of half-assing content is uh, very simple. Ever since they added a Valencia out of the game, you can just see through the node system. It's just less and less nodes, like less and less nodes to inter like, you know, interact with. And that's a whole other topic. But to go even further, uh, instead of adding expansions, not only did the expansions get smaller by area and size, um, we can take a look at how they've added PvE content to the game, right? So at first it was a whole expansion of a new area, then we got to Elvia, and now we've gotten so lazy that we're adding Dekiel Lantern. Let's just change one mob. New content, guys! Hey man, go solo grind. This has to stop, okay? Listen, maybe it's been like they've been developing this game for years and they're getting the burnout. But I fully believe if they can just address what the players are actually complaining about, this game is going to do much better, okay? 100%. So look, just to be blunt, PA, this is what the players want, okay? What the players want, right, is content. And the content that we want is the content that makes us feel like we're playing an MMORPG. And I'm gonna label you everything in here in a minute. Now look, I'm just gonna be very blunt, PA. What the community wants is we want content. That's all the community wants, okay? The game literally feels empty. PA, please, stop adding new classes, stop adjusting class balance, stop doing quality of life fixes, and stop, please, for the love of God. Oh, and please stop making the changes of, oh, sorry, we fixed the, um, uh, the changes on LAN for their RPers, and we noticed that the, the panty bra set was clipping through the player's outfit, and that has now been fixed. Focus all of your attention on filling the game up with content. That's what we need, okay? The stuff that I just mentioned, I think it's in their best interest to put a halt on these things, and we start fixing what we have. There's actually a lot of content in the game for PA to work off of, like different mobs, different areas. It's in the game. It's just that we need a lot of reworking and adjusting done to make this a better game. Now this next segment is the most important part of the video, like the most important part. For those of you that don't play BDO and that may play MMOs, the stuff that I'm gonna list is gonna be pretty baffling, but here we go. We've had this game for 10 years, Black Desert Online, the critically acclaimed MMORPG. I really say MMORPG here, okay? Listen. It's been 10 years. How is it that only one hour of dungeon content per week is acceptable? How is it that some of the hardest content in the game is the least rewarding in BDO? How is it that we don't have any guild raids? How is it that we don't have any guild PvE content? How is it that we don't have any group PvE content. I'm going to take a look at Garmoth. It tells us all the grind spots per hour, right? Look at this, guys. I'm going to tell you how many are group spots, right? So look, solo spot, solo spot, solo spot, group spot, solo, 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 solo spot, solo, another solo spot, solo, solo, a duo spot. Oh my god, and it's not even competitive with the top spots, okay. Solo, 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 solo. Let's keep going. Solo. Uh, solo with, and then you kind of group up to kill a boss, and look how low it is. Uh, solo. 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 You guys get the point, okay. So, the, the idea I'm getting at here, right, is that there's no variety to the, to the PvE. It's pretty much all only, only solo grind and then go hit a circle, that's it. So in general, PA, where are my raids, dungeons, towers, open world events that happen randomly, active bossing, rifts, etc. I really feel like a lot of the BDO community will agree with this one. 
BDO necessarily doesn't have to do anything new. Straight up. I simply believe if these developers just played other MMORPGs for a little while and just copied some of the mechanics, right? We'd have a much, much more enjoyable MMORPG experience. To top that off, uh, why hasn't PvP become a viable source of money making yet in 10 years? As an MMORPG with the best combat content, let alone actual competitive PvE content, it's just such a horrible take, right? Like, if PvP is so rewarding, then nobody would PvE. This is dumb, right? It's very simple. People who like PvP are gonna PvP. People who like PvE are gonna PvE. Respectively, I'm tired of PvEing. I wanna go PvP and progress. I'm tired of PvPing. I wanna go PvE and progress. Stop punishing your players for the respective playstyle and wishes. As they say, variety is the spice of life. And that's what BDO lacks. Just literally lacks variety. Um, also, uh, being against instances is just not an excuse to not add content. Like, that was like their biggest excuse for a very long time, not to add dungeons. Well, you know, now we have competition on the way, and it's kind of wishful thinking to just be like, these other MMOs will just die like the other ones. I mean, there's a good chance some of these MMOs might have a decent shot. We don't know, right? But we've seen these other games now have open world dungeons, and it's just like, why can't BDO do that, right? That's really the question, why can't they, right? Pearl Abyss, like, the, like they need to understand that these caps are... It's really counterintuitive to why a lot of people play MMOs. Like, okay, look, for PvP, right? We're talking PvP here, I really believe there should only be, like, a T1 cap. And the rest of the game should just be uncapped. I'll just be real. Some of you may disagree, but look at it like this, right? When everything in the game is capped... What is the what is the point in grinding? There isn't really. There really isn't. And now let's go to PvE. Even PvE is capped. You're punishing your players for progressing in a way. So like once you hit a certain extent of gear, there's really no point in gearing up. And that's the entire game right now. Everything's capped. Why should I grind? Why should I push gear? For what? There's no competitive PvE content, and the spirit of PvP is dying in the open world and Ned Wars are getting gutted, what's the point in gearing up, right? And that's really what happens when you don't have MMO content in the game. The game is just quite literally lacking the basics and the bread and butters of what MMOs offer. It's BDO just lacks it entirely, and that's where BDO is missing the mark right now. PA needs to understand this, and because this is what they're not addressing for like the last 10 years. They keep doing these quality of life changes, random, you know, class balance. We don't want that anymore. Fix the content. You have a beautiful foundation for the game. The, the world is already big. You have a lot of grind spots. The problem is now is we need to start filling the content up with some actual tangible and rewarding content that's worth our while. They already have everything. They got the combat. They got the graphics. They got it all. We just need the MMO now. That's all we need. If, if this message can seriously get across to PA, and maybe a lot of the community can also parrot this, that the game just needs to become a proper MMO, this game would be much more enjoyable. They need to make sure that the rewards are good. Here's the thing with this situation. It's like this, right? The guy was getting griefed for hours by this one guild, and he got so fed up to the point where he was like, listen man, if these people don't get banned, he's just gonna quit. And this is not the only time this has happened. This is a completely natural reaction. This has happened to many streamers in the community. Now, if you're a BDO veteran, you're used to it. However, I want everyone to be honest right now. How many streamers have y'all seen actually leave this game just because of that? Lots. I think we can all agree it should have never been allowed to the point where you can actually harass someone while they're streaming and follow them channel to channel and just keep killing them and then for the last 10 years it's been uh well sorry too bad just swap channels that was just really stupid this is how it's been for years for years then randomly out of the blue they decided to start banning people that were stream sniping which has never happened before 
and this is not Canon's fault. And it, it's making people believe that Canon has like a secret pocket GM in his pocket for people to get banned because this seemed like fav favoritism, right? And this is not the only time where I have personally seen a content creator situation get mishandled. It's really not. We've seen it happen to Blade Bell Quest. We've seen it happen to Fake Uni with the Crystal situation. It's just literally a lack of communication on PA's end. And then what happens is, is that the content creator faces the backlash for it. As if they're the villain, but they're really not. It's really just PA's incompetence. It's simple, right? This should have never been allowed from day one. Now the problem is, they start banning people, and then there's no communication behind it. Actually, the communication was so bad that then, when this situation happened, random Care Bears in the community started to take advantage of this, and whenever they got PK'd, they were reporting players for getting, for getting harassed. Now what's happening in the community is that people are getting banned simply for flagging up and going red. It's happened to plenty of my friends already. And it's not been the context of where they're shit talking or they're following players. So now we have an incompetence issue on PA side. This is not the first time this has happened. I'm of the opinion that this should have never been allowed and that PA needs to publicly address this. They need to publicly address it. Number two, players should not be getting banned for going red and simply flagging up. The only case in where someone should be getting banned is if you're actually following someone across multiple channels for hours straight or you're doing it like multiple times a day like you're clearly trying to hunt someone right that's you're actually then impeding someone's gameplay that's really the only scenario where it should happen now again this does not mean like if i'm killing some guy 45 times in a row on my channel right if he doesn't channel flop that's his problem that's not that's not breaking tos now if you repeatedly hunt this guy across multiple channels, that should be the bannable offense. The griefing in BDO infinitely got worse when PA took over. Why? Because you can see someone's entire family name roster and guild roster on the website. When this happened, this directly buffed the black robe so hard. All it takes is 20 people separate across every channel and then just black robe everyone in the guild roster, their whole family roster, boom you're hunting it's that easy a lot of people were assuming what my take was on the gbg change right i'm a pvp or you guys know that all i do is open world pvp i don't care about grinding personally most people play mmorpgs to pve and grind so generally speaking when you force pvp like in the way gvgs were uh it's a it leaves a very salty taste in people's mouth People don't like forced PvP. Here's the problem. Like I said, uh, the problem was is that the only content that BDO offered was the open world griefing PvP GVG mechanic. Now, they removed their only content out of the game, and now there's nothing left. So now we can very much see why there needs to be a actual MMORPG inside of BDO. The sandbox of the game is entirely empty and the MMO aspects are missing. So now with GVG's gone, there's truly nothing left. So now PA, you're at a dilemma. You're at a dilemma, okay? There needs to be PvP content that I can do whenever I want in the open world, okay? Now me, I was playing Throne in Liberty for a little while. The way Throne in Liberty did it, I'm just not I'm not saying BDO should do this, I'm just giving an idea to throw out there. Is that they have these dynamic events so uh, that that could be a world boss or just something randomly spawning in the world now imagine guys if garmoth right imagine if garmoth spawned like five or six times a day uh three of those garmoths would be pvp and three of those garmoths would be pve and for the pvp garmoth the rewards would be ramped up and the guild that did the highest damage would get the reward could we just like think of how awesome that would be for BDO? Instead, BDO does this communism approach: no PvP, no PVE. Another really cool thing I saw other games do. There's this one game that had an open world dungeon, and at nighttime the doors to the dungeon would close, and then 
what they could do is the drop rates could go up and then it'd be open PvP and then whoever has it has it right or BDO could have a peace and wartime system for different areas maybe stars end could be peacetime and then for a certain period it'd be PvP for three hours straight and then the rewards would be jacked up right that's what I'm getting at so P is it a dilemma either way it's either for now they re-enable GVGs and then when they can finally enable, right? When they can finally enable um, other PvP content existing for players to go do, then GVGs being turned off wouldn't matter. But right now there's no content, so it matters a lot. I don't know the answer for them to fix the GVG system. Either way though, forcing PvP is cringe. But this is this is PA's job. It's not my job, it's not your guys' job, it's PA's job. They now need to actually put open world PvP content into the game. But for the most part, people voted against the GVG deck change. So at least for the time being, I think they should re-enable it until they can actually add some content and then they communicate. That's really what should happen. And that's why PvP is in the sorry state it's in. And I also want to expand upon when I'm up upon my points here. So for the most part, right? Like the main competitive content in the game, which is Node War and Sieges, it's locked behind having to have an alliance, which makes it really not welcoming for newer guilds or newer players to get into the game. Because once they get enough people, and then the minute they realize that if they're not like in the scene, they're just gonna get zerged against immediately. And it becomes unfun. PA needs to actually add some content that's competitive that is also just good for like smaller guilds to get into. So like, they got to consider adding in some 10v10 content. And I'm not talking about the GVG BS they're adding in. So I'm going to talk about here in a minute. We need some actual like 10v10 content, 20v20s. And then also do like the 40v40, that you know, the 80v80, whatever they want to do. with. I don't think the game can support Siege. It's just too laggy, too desynky. So I think what they should consider is that whatever that War of the Roses content was going to be, maybe that could be like the uncapped kind of content. But I really think that for Node Wars and Siege, they need to consider how many guilds they can allow to be on one node or castle siege before it starts lagging. And that needs to be a limit. The game just can't support it. Number two, we need separate servers for Node Wars and Siege. Or an instance. I know PA is after money. Some of y'all are gonna hate me or you're gonna love me for this. So I honestly don't care. I love to speak in my mind. I just don't care. Okay. So look, for a lot of free to play players, the pearl shop's a bitch. You know, a lot of us have the desire to play new classes. Unfortunately, re rolling, it costs as much as a new graphics card now just to re roll. Gotta buy weight, inventory slots, all that. Number one, I think PA needs to make the tagging system up to four to five characters. Uh, listen, alts don't really mean anything in BDO, but people would like to play more than one class. That'll just help keep things a lot less dry. People like to play multiple classes in any game they play. Rerolling should never be this thing where it's so punishing like how BDO is. I think that loot scrolls need to be taken out of the game. They're just outdated. They don't make sense anymore. Give everyone level 2 loot scroll buff permanently in the game as a whole. Make that the norm. And what should happen is, is instead of selling the loot scrolls, start selling the old moon scrolls on the on the on the pearl shop and stuff, and just call it a day. That'll be a really nice change. I think a lot of players would like. Really consider the 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 comma blessing old moon book and value pack. Just merge it into one. No, nobody wants to pay three of these subscriptions. Okay, There's, no one wants to do it. Look, with how the game is set up, pay to win. It just doesn't matter. Like it just doesn't. You could whale a thousand dollars and get literally nothing on this game. Literally nothing. And at this point, we all know that that the game is grind to win. We all know that. I personally don't think it would hurt. I think it would only be a benefit if we had pearls to silver and silver to pearls. That would solve a lot of problems for a lot of players in the game, number one. Number two, PA, you would simply just make more money, I believe. Um, now, that's my take. Y'all give your feedback. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, please, comment down below, like, share the video, talk with other people, get the conversation going. This feedback needs to get PA to change the game because uh, it's not looking good right now.